Welcome to my farming pet guide or advice on how to obtain the Tangle Root, one of Old School RuneScape's skilling pets. Now I can't promise you uh, you'll get this thing instantly if you do everything I do in this video or any of the methods that I show, but uh, you will do eventually if you don't give up. Uh, this is an RNG based grind so it could happen at any point theoretically, though I like to look at drop rates from a probability perspective which I personally think is a better approach uh, whenever you're going to grind a rare item. Just to start a little bit of info on how the drop rate of the pets uh, work. So skill and pet drop rates work the same for each skill and they do scale to level though not past uh, 99 until you get to 200 mil. Uh, in farming every single thing you farm has a base chance to give you the pet. Uh, this chance is a formula which I'll put on screen now. So it's one in base chance minus your level times 25 uh, in brackets. Uh, so for example any maple tree has a base chance of 14,052. So let's say you're 70 farming that means your chance of getting the tangle root from a maple tree when you check the health is 1 in 12,302 at 99 that chance then becomes 1 in 11,577 so unlike other skilling pets where the base drop rates are very very high like fishing or mining um, levels do have more of an impact on the pet chance in the farming skill because the base chance on many things is uh, quite low if you reach 200 mil in the skill and you still don't have the pet, which is uh, extremely unlikely, it does then become 15 times more common from all sources. Uh, this has known to have happened since to some extremely unlucky players, though with the methods I'll be showing, it's highly unlikely you'll ever reach that XP even in your uh, old school RuneScape lifetime. You have a chance to receive the pets in different ways depending on exactly what you are farming. So for patches that you harvest, like allotments, uh, mushrooms and seaweed. The roll for the pet is on the final harvest. For trees and bushes, the chances roll on the check health option where you'll usually get the bigger XP drop. We're going to start with fruit tree runs. So getting the pet from a fruit tree has the same chance for any fruit tree. So it's actually best to use the cheaper ones if you're already at level 99. Personally, I did papaya trees all the way to 99 and also post 99 as they can actually be slightly profitable depending on exact prices uh, all stress after 99. There's no point doing palm or dragon fruit trees as these are just gonna eat into your cash and the chance is the same anyway. Uh, unless that is that you're going for 200 mil and you don't mind spending a little bit more. Uh, anything papaya or below will not cost you too much. You can normally do one fruit tree run per day and there's six different patches around the game or five if you don't have uh, 85 farming. Uh, the base chance from a fruit tree is one in 9,000 so scaling this to 99 which is what we're going to be doing for all the methods. Uh, it is one in 6,525 per fruit tree every time you check the health so that is going to be five or six rolls per day at this and a full fruit tree run uh, can take uh, about five minutes usually. The next trees are hardwood trees which are grown on Fossil Island, you've got to complete the Bone Voyage quest to access this. Uh, both teak and mahogany have the same chance but you should do teak as it grows faster than mahogany and uh, yeah, the base chance there is a 1 in 5,000, you can do a run every 3 days or so. So 1 in 2,525 chance at level 99 every time you check the health and you, yeah, you're going to get 3 rolls of that each time. And yeah, teaks are very cheap and uh, one of the common ways that uh, people get this pet. You can also do some other trees for a good chance as well. Redwood trees, which you can grow in the farming guild, uh, can be grown at level 90 farming and they provide the same chance as hardwood trees, so 1 in 2525 at level 99. Celestrous trees, which are the same chance as fruit trees, can also be grown in the farming guild and you don't lose too much money on planting them either. And yeah, as I said, same chance as fruit trees, 1 in 9000 and 1 in 6525. Now this might be controversial but if you want to save money do not do any regular trees or spirit trees outside of farming contracts uh, once you're 99. Uh, the pet chance from regular trees is very bad except magic trees which cost an absolute fortune so uh, don't waste your money on these unless you want 200 mil in the skill. Uh, spirit trees aside from the first times you plant them across the game they do have a relatively good chance of getting the pets but uh, spirit seeds themselves are pretty much impossible to actively uh, sustain so uh, you might as well just trade these in for seed packs and get high tier seeds and and that'll help fund your grind for this pet uh, overall. The next set of patches have a decent chance of getting the pet. Uh, you can normally do these as a complete run and do it twice a day uh, depending on exactly how much you play and when you log on. First there's cactus which can be grown in the farming guild and alkarid uh, once to twice per day again depending on which times you log on. They have a base chance of 7,000 so that is a 1 in 4,525 chance at 99 and this is rolled when you check the health. Belladonna can be grown in Draenor Manor and has a uh, 1 in 5525 chance at 99 and that's rolled on the first and only, only harvest. Uh, you will need gloves to do this otherwise you get a bit of poison. Bittercap mushrooms can be grown in Canifis and they are 1 in 5025 chance at level 99 and they are rolled on the final harvest. 
Giant seaweed on Fossil Island is probably the fastest way to get the pet. It grows in 50 minutes and there are two patches, uh, each with a 1 in 5,025 chance at level 99 rider right on the final harvest. So that's roughly 1 in 2,500 chance per run and you can do one run every hour essentially. Um, to speed this up you can pay for protection with a Numulite and do not use any compost so it won't take you too long to harvest the seaweed overall. Finally I'll just mention the Hispori boss which you can plant in the farming guild and it takes up between 24 and 32 hours to grow. Uh, the chance is 1 in 4525 at level 99 and that's rolled when you dig up and receive your drop. These are the things I recommend. Of course you can get the pet from uh, bushes, herbs, allotments and other stuff but the base chances are extremely high and it's, uh, it's very unlikely to happen compared to the other methods so uh, it's just worth doing them along with your farming contracts uh, in my opinion. Just a few things to add on top of that. Uh, in terms of insurance and using composts, it's completely up to you. Obviously, if you insure a tree or a patch, uh, it will guarantee you uh, a roll at the pet and it won't waste the money that's spent on the seed. Uh, but in some cases, such as fruit tree protection, you're better off just using ultra compost and is uh, more convenient to carry around as well. Uh, but make sure you're doing one or the other and not neither, or your stuff's going to die and you're not going to have any rolls at the pet at all. For anima seeds obtained from the Aspori, if you do that boss, it's also up to you. There's no need to use an Ates at all since you're not going to benefit from any increased yield. Uh, Iazel seeds increase how fast all of your patches grow, so that can be quite useful. For example, uh, it may allow you to get uh, two fruit tree runs per day, and in general, it will grow your hardwood trees faster as well. So I'd say if you're someone who logs on throughout the day and does multiple farm runs, uh, this is the one to use. Kronos, on the other hand, decreases the patch's chance of dying or becoming deceased, so this is very good for guaranteeing rolls of the pet. And I recommend using it if you're not paying for protection on the majority of your crops. And if you are, then feel free to use Iazor for that faster growth. So, how did I get my pet? Yes, 32.4 uh, million XP it took me. Um, not all of that was when pets were released, but uh, the majority of it, I'd say 30 mil of it, uh, was. So, up to 99, I kind of trained in the regular way. I was doing tree runs, doing herb runs, just for the sake of uh, training the skill, and I kind of you know, sort of enjoyed farm runs a little bit too. Nice way to break up um, activities, though I did adapt after 99 to solely go for the pets. It was giant seaweed in the end where I got it, and I was probably still under the rate in terms of how much seaweed I'd done. Um, other runs were one fruit tree run per day, that was papaya trees, uh, one hardwood run every few days as soon as they'd grown, two cactus mushroom belladonna runs per day, and then occasionally the celestrous and redwood trees whenever I got them as farming contracts. So I will say that solely doing farming contracts isn't the worst idea if you're not too bothered about getting the pet, but you still kind of want to go for it on a daily basis. Um, yeah, this way you're going to get some profit from the seed packs plus uh, rolls at the pet as well. This is an RNG based grind as I said at the start of the video so there's no guarantee at any point that you will ever uh, get the pets but um, that's not a reason to not believe. Uh, some people will get it very early and yes believe me I used to shake my head at those um, people getting the Groot on their first um, fruit tree run level 20 farming or, or something like that. Um, yeah, Others will go very high on the other hand which you know, in a way balances that out so, but uh, yeah, your probability of getting the pet increases the more farming you do which is how I prefer to look at drop rates. Or yeah, think of it like this, if you give up and you stop farming, you're definitely not going to get the pet, so there's no chance you can get it. Um, yeah, The only way you can get it is to buy, continue to do those seaweed runs, do that quick tree run when you log on. I mean, I did most of my farming at the start of the end of my um, RuneScape session, so I mean, that's as short as like 20 minutes right at the start to um, do all of those meth methods that I've said and uh, have all those chances of uh, getting the pet. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you found it useful and I wish you the best of luck on your Tangle Root uh, journey. And yeah, now go and do a seaweed run and you can thank me later.